Rod, it was an interesting and challenging day for the Pirates on Saturday in Forest Grove at Pacific. Uh, got off to kind of a slow start and had to battle out of a hole, but uh, thankfully you had an ace up your sleeve in Luis Salgado and uh, got a 39-32 to win over the boxers. Uh, take us back through that game, uh, what you saw that went particularly well and, and where we're still trying to get better. Yeah, tough to win on the road um, and, uh, you know, kind of a uh, tale of two games, really. Um, got behind, came back, uh, then let them back in the game. Um, they, they were just battling. They were fighting. They have a really good offense. They have a good receiver, a good quarterback, and a good running back, and that's tough to to stop all three of those. Um, so uh, our, our defense uh, had a challenge all day long. Uh, and then offensively, we were able to run the ball and have a lot of success there, um, which kept, uh, well, you would think it would keep them off the field, but a lot of times it was pretty fast uh, plays. So our defense didn't get a lot of rest. Um, but again, just really, really proud of our, our young men and how much they believed in each other and how they finished the game. Obviously a huge day for Luis. Uh, 365 rushing yards shattered our school record the most in Division Three by any player by over 100 yards this season. Mm. Uh, but talk about how the entire offense can take pride in that accomplishment. Yeah, that's not just one person if you're doing something like that. And uh, obviously the O-line started up there, did a phenomenal job, really, really active, really physical. But our tight ends and our receivers um, really took a lot of pride in that. And I think that's everybody's record. That's 11 guys. Uh, not just Luis. Uh, Luis did run possessed and uh, was a man on a mission, and uh, it was fun to watch. We've also got a couple of other uh, season records that are being approached. Uh, Evan Liggett for most touchdown catches in a season, and uh, uh, Ryan Blair for most touchdown passes in a season. Uh, how do guys balance focusing on the importance of what's in front of them with thinking in the back of their head, oh, I can get my name in the record book. Yeah, you know what? I hope that they're not really thinking about the record book. Um, that could be something that'd be pretty cool at the end of the year to look back at. But I think right now, I think their focus is on uh, the next opponent. And our seniors have done a really, really nice job from the beginning of the year to, hey, it's one week, win the week, win the week. And um, so I hope that's their focus. I assume that's their focus. Um, I've sensed that that's their focus. Well, you talk about winning the week. Uh, another week coming up, we're playing the Lewis and Clark Pioneers, a team that looks very improved um, from last season. Uh, talk about the challenges that they'll present this week. Um, yeah, a good team, well coached, um, have some talent. Offensively, you're playing a quarterback that's uh, pretty efficient. Uh, they have a receiver that's been uh, very successful uh, that will need to be a, account for him every play. Um, and then defensively, um, it's going to be hard for us to predict because uh, they'll, they'll do two different schemes depending on the week. So we'll probably have to prepare for both a four-man front and a three-man front, uh, not knowing until the game starts. Once, they, once the game starts, they stay in whatever they chose that week. We just won't know uh, until the game starts. So that poses some challenges, and we'll have to be really prepared.